It's been a law for almost a decade, but now state officials are cranking up their inspections of products claiming to be made with New Mexico chili. News 13's Francesca Washington explains how they're tracking products on the shelf all the way back to the fields. JR's jerky owner Tony Gutierrez says they sell 30 different flavors. Green chili garlic is very popular. But one stands out above the rest. Most people really love green chili. Gutierrez says every week he's ordering a ton of green chili from Hatch to marinate with the meat. We use all uh, fresh ingredients, highest quality spices. Gutierrez's jerky business is just one of nearly 200 businesses now registered with the state's Department of Agriculture as using verified New Mexico chili. The list is, is grown and it continues. Agriculture officials say with national companies like Del Monte, Johnsonville and Reesers all adding green chili to their products, they understand the crop's growing popularity. We get calls from native New Mexicans from all over the U.S. that, you know, they have to move or whatever and they find product in stores in Washington State or Washington, D.C. or Florida or Ohio and I get the call and they want to know if they're using New Mexico chili. And they've amped up their inspections to make sure businesses and restaurants claiming to use New Mexico chili are in compliance with the New Mexico Chili Advertising Act. We were able to get some more resources and actually kind of take a closer look to see if there were issues out there. The list grew exponentially. Officials say they want to make sure they can trace the chili all the way back to the grower. You have to have invoices and or receipts from different farmers and vendors that show that you do buy only product or use only product from New Mexico. Gutierrez says you can taste the difference. They're all interested in seeing what green chili jerky is all about, or green chili, period. Francesca Washington, KRQE News 13. There is no fine for violating the act, but the Department of Agriculture can stop a sale of the product until it is certified or even go for a cease and desist order to keep a company from putting the words New Mexico chili on their label.